how you doing? Okay then, so now we've got a fresh head, we can start again on the valve. So let's get on with it. Do you know what? I got this all wrong, haven't I? Okay, so these, what I thought was the exhaust valves, are not the exhaust valves, they're the intake valves. And the smaller ones are the exhaust valves. Now that is the exhaust valve. So I've got it on the right one. It's just that I should be working on the intake valve, which is this side. So luckily I haven't got to take that off again because it's on the right one. Okay, so these are the exhaust valves. This, no, these are the bigger valves this side, so I want the black seals. So the bigger valves are the intake valves. So we want the black oil seal on this one. So here we go again, trying to get that onto there. There, we've got it on top. Hopefully you've got the right camera view. See if we can push it down. Nope, it's fallen off. Bloody me. Try again. Put a bit of oil on it, might help. Okay, let's put a bit of oil on it. I think they'll be alright with these ones, I'll be able to push them on, but you can't get your fingers down that one. Just put that little look through it. Try to guide it into place. Right. Oh, that's it, it went on. Yes, that's it. So this time, we're getting somewhere. Then again, we want the... Uh, small fat washer. We'll drop that on. Please tell me I can get it on. Then we want the large washer. Oh, they seated nicely. Okay, then we want the correct valve. A bit more oil on it. lift the head up so I can get the valve in. Like so. Push it all the way through. There we go. spring make sure the tightly welded end is at the bottom and sometimes you can see a bit of colour on the top so that is the top bit make sure it's seated nicely same with the big spring tightly wide bit at the bottom and the open winded bit at the top it usually has a bit of colour like you probably can see that just slots on there, like so. 
So we've got to get the top hat. That goes on there like so. And next we will need the uh, Frankenstein spring compressor. Let me see if I can find that. So we're going to have to bring this towards the end of the table. Okay, get our Frankenstein spring compressor. Finkley do. Okay, I think that's it. And hopefully it's compressed. So people usually put grease in there to hold the collets, but uh, I don't really think I should put grease in there because grease is quite thick and there is lots of little oil ways. And the grease has got to end up somewhere, so I don't really trust that method. Trust me to try and do the most awkwardest valve. Yes, I've dropped my collets. Don't drop your collets. Stop dropping your collet. Okay, so if I'd put that little collet on there, hopefully you could see it. I've got a magnet, but that's too big and it's too powerful. So what I'm going to do is use this little pick, put a bit of magnetism into it. And hopefully it should pick that little collet up. But it doesn't want to. Oh yes, it's just about got it. Then hopefully we can drop it into there. And guide it into position. And it may take a few years. Be patient, just keep fiddling about with it and it'll come the right way up eventually. Yeah, it's in there and it's upside down. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that's the first one into place. And let's try again with the second one. Okay, it's got a bit of magnetism on it. Not a lot of magnetism. Come on, don't miss me about oh bollocks. Put a bit more magnetism on it. Come on. Try to uh Drop it into place. Yes, go on, go on, down, down, down. Go down. Why won't you go down? Middle your tool a bit and it won't go down properly. There we go. 
that's it. And now, if we release the tool, like so, hopefully that is the spring in. Let's get a socket. Get a socket like that. Get the little hammer, give it a couple of taps. Make sure it's nice and springy. Oh yes. Yes, I think that's got it. Cool. These ones are going out on the end, they're going to be ridiculously odd. Hopefully these ones on the inside will be a bit easier. So now that's on, we can give it a good squirt. And so now I've got seven more to do. So bear with me while I do that. Right then, a few hours later, that's all the valves, all the inlet valves. Right then, let's pour some fluid into the ports and do the leak test without spilling it. Try to keep things dry, otherwise, we won't know what's what. That one. Oh shit. Try and keep things dry, he says. <laughs> oh my god. Try and keep things dry, Johnny. Then you know where you are. Right, uh and dry this mess up. <laughs> okay, then we can come back tomorrow and check the levels. Okay, so this is two hours later. Good. Apart from that one, I could see a drip. Could you see the drip? Shit. I think maybe that one as well. We're not doing too well, are we, Johnny boy? And maybe that one. Okay then, so I've just unlocked the shed. It's the next day. I've had a quick look. And uh, they're all pretty much still full up. Which is quite weird. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show up, but there is a drip there, looks damp there, that one looks okay, not sure if that's wet, yeah, it looks damp around that one, and it looks damp around that one, and that one, so I think we'll call this a fail. I don't know. Is that acceptable or is it going to smoke like a cooking cooker? The 
Okay, so that's it. I'll just put these engine bits on the back burner and carry on with the frame and the plastics and the bodywork. Hopefully before all that is finished I have found the funds to buy all this crap. But stay well, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.